Do you feel that this season that there is real tangible improvement? Is this is this finally the year that the offensive line will come together? Uh, yeah, I mean, the past couple of years, you know, we've we've been we've been good. It's just it's hard. It, it was hard to find, you know, to, to look through the cracks and, and you know see us doing doing well. Uh, but I think you know this year as a team, us being able to actually come together, you know, have all the parts working as a cohesive unit is going to be huge to not only be successful as a team. But also, you know, get the big guys some work. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a big thing, just being, get to be successful as a team to let everybody, you know, have the spotlight. And that's, that's, a, that's a big thing. To, to follow up, you mentioned spotlight. Is there any guys out there that have impressed you a lot? It's been said, you know, about Miz and Cole and, and other guys. Can you talk about some of the guys that you kind of struck you as you've seen a lot of improvement with them? Yeah, I mean, I mean Mason definitely, you know, Mason is uh, – Mason's Mason, Mason. He, you know, he started he started all last year as a freshman. That, that's that's huge. You know, no one no one does that um, really anywhere. And so that that's huge for him. He's improved a lot. You know, again with Coach Trev, uh, he's been able to make some strides. Um, you know, Dave Dawson did really good. Uh, Tooley, Logan's been doing really good. Uh, Blake's had, has had a really good camp. Um, a lot of guys have, have been coming along, and it's, it's been good. Does that go to the first row here? So you want to, uh, what is this experience going to be like for you going back to Utah playing in your home state? Uh, it's going to be starting off my senior year back at home. It's going to be fun. I look for all, all my family members and my friends are going to be there to support me and my team. So there's nothing better to start off my senior year and just play at home. Back to the back right corner. Guys, for both of you, can you talk about now that you've been through it, what has Camp Harbaugh been like and being in the submarine? Uh, it's, it's definitely, it's been an experience that I'll probably tell my kids about when I'm older. Uh, it's been, it's definitely been like a camp we've never had before, and I think that's going to be, that's going to pay off in dividends down the road this year and uh, this upcoming Thursday, too. Um, we've come, to, come together as a team really well. We're super close right now, uh, super tight-knit. We know what we're doing execution-wise, and now it's just a matter of we have to go out and show everybody what we'll be doing. Summary and make it pay off. First yeah. row, Mark in the green shirt. Sione, obviously you and Brian are very close. Well, What's it been like over the last uh, couple of weeks trying to counsel him? And obviously he, he's not going to get the experience that you are going home. Uh, yeah, just going off that, like, I know Brian comes from, mm -hmm. like going up with Brian, I know him. He comes from a, a God-based family. And, Knowing, like, knowing that like his faith is really strong right now and he's keeping a positive attitude throughout uh, the whole situation and um, our team is uh, behind his back and supporting him throughout this whole rehab and we're always going to be there with him, so, no matter what. Second row here, Adam. Sione, I've been interested in the, the difference in elevation with you being from there. Is that is that something that you feel like might take a toll on these guys or is it, have you talked to them a little bit about it? Is there a different way? You prepare, or is it even uh, is it even a concern? Well, for me personally, I, I, it's not a really concern for me. Cause I've been like flying back, back and forth from here to Utah like, many times, and uh, like working out in Utah like, hasn't really been a concern. Like I'm really just gonna find it. Uh, I get I got a lot of questions from like my teammates about the elevation, and I told them like nothing to worry about. Like it'll be fine just as long as they, just yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. <laughs> the first row to the right, Dennis. Kyle, I think you've said in the past that coach likes to keep you off balance or doesn't prepare you for things sometimes. What? Give, give me a couple of examples of you know, what form that's taken. Oh, uh, like some examples of what he's done? Yeah. Oh, God, I mean, where can I start? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, the, the big thing is this. He, he likes us to... For, for example, you know, like during camp, you know, a lot of teams will have practice in the, in the, in the morning or you know, at night, you know, to be easy on the guys. And, uh, but no, no, Coach Harbaugh wants to do it during the last time of the day. So it's one to four. And specifically to uh, shape the body and mold the mind. And uh, You're quoting him. Uh, yeah. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, just stuff like that, you know, especially, you know, being behind closed doors with, with him and seeing him in his environment, it just, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's also just like to, to see just he's such a football mentality type guy and just an awesome coach. And uh, but yeah, he, he definitely keeps on your toes all the time. Didn't he, didn't you walk into one of these things and you didn't even know it was there? 
was scheduled? And yeah, we walked. Yeah, we walked in that that morning, and uh, he was sitting in front of the in front of the team, and he said, "All right, boys, the record is." Uh, it's like it was like it was like ten thirty or something. He's like, "We need to beat that record today to get the, the picture taken," and uh, we beat the record, got it done in ten. So. <laughs>